Good evening to you. Taking a look at KSNT Max Track Radar. Just a little bit of light snow shower and flurries here and there. What doesn't show up very well on radar is drizzle. And we do have a little bit of that out there and could cause a few more slick spots. Obviously, we've got still some of the accumulation from earlier snows on the road. But the bulk of the system that we've been tracking is moving out. And it's moving farther and farther to the northeast. I want to back this up to about 5 o'clock this morning. Because what happened overnight was this large area of dry air swept into the storm system. And look at it just cut a big hole right through through the system itself that obviously took away our morning snowfall and then as that system kept moving north but it also shifted a little bit east the end result was yes we got some snow but we didn't get as much and that was certainly you know, good news bad news really I guess which way you're looking at this whole system but that's why the precipitation was on the lower end taking a look outside right now this is a live view from our KSNT storm tracker uh, we are out to monitoring the road conditions if you've got to head out this evening you see the slushy and kind of occasionally snow covered side streets especially the one that was just passed to the right there. Those are the ones that we're going to be concerned about, obviously, because they'll have some slick spots on them. As far as the highways, they're okay. They're mainly clear, a little wet, uh, but it looks like most of those have fared very well throughout the course of the day. Main roads still may be a little slow. Some of the main roads are clear. Others have slushy spots on them, and that could still get a little slick during the evening and overnight. But a lot of the back roads, the side streets, the neighborhood roads, a lot of those are snow covered, and certainly you need to use some slow down caution on that. Snow on the ground up north at Seneca, just an inch or two for the higher end in some spots, ranged really from about a half inch to two and a half inch snow across the area today picked up 17 hundredths of an inch. Now we would have had a little bit more of that in the form of snow, but sleet mixed in and that obviously was lowering the totals overnight. Temperatures have been hovering in the 20s and we're still at 26 degrees with a brisk northwest wind. 21 right now at Marysville, 22 at Clay Center and Council Grove, 26 from Linden up through Topeka as well. Then you have to factor in that breeze and keep in mind these winds will be coming down, but for now they're not. They're still running 15 to 20 miles per hour over the eastern and northern sections of the area, a little bit less around Manhattan and Junction City. But where the wind is blowing, it feels like 8 at Marysville, 9 for Concordia, and currently a wind chill at Emporia of 11 degrees. A look at KSNT Future Track, those wind chills tonight falling down a large area into the single digits and then recovering by about midday tomorrow back up into the 20s. So that's certainly some good news. We're also tracking another disturbance over Southern California right now. That'll swing across the western U.S. KSNT Future Track shows clearing skies at least partially through the Overnight and through the day tomorrow, kind of a partly cloudy sky. But watch what happens tomorrow night. After midnight, another area of light snow moves through between about midnight and 5 a.m. Pushes out very quickly, but could get a dusting to an inch out of that next round before we clear out for the bulk of the week ahead. Tonight down to 16, north winds 10 to 15, and wind chills between 3 and 12. Looking ahead to the Thursday evening, New Year's Eve, little apple drop in Aggieville, midnight temperature of 17 degrees. Your KSNT Storm Track 7 day forecast, upper 20s through the week, I always say the rest of the year, right? <laughs> upper 20s for the rest of the year for highs and lows into the teens. That snow, about 30% chance of that for Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. And then we start to warm up, should be back into the low 40s by Sunday and Monday. But definitely a cold New Year's Eve, cold New Year's Day, and a little bit more light snow possible as we head into the wee hours of Wednesday morning. So definitely have the heavy jackets. It's going to need to bundle up, what, through the rest of the year? Uh, yeah, certainly bundle up. And then the other concern is just use a little bit more of a slowdown, kind of just caution mm -hmm. on those side streets tonight. They are slick. All right. Thanks, mm -hmm. Matt.